Hi, I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm here today to talk about an upcoming event that's something that's gone on for 72 years, the Queen Anne's County Fair. This year it's August 11th through the 16th, and we're going to be doing a bunch of segments on different activities that happen during the fair that maybe you know about, maybe you don't, maybe you can learn a little more about. So today we have Roxy Cross here and she's going to be, she's our horse barn chairman mm -hmm. and she's going to be talking about some of the horse events that go on during the fair. Roxy, welcome. Thank you. Um, I know, you know, people think, okay, well, the horses, they parade around or whatever, but it's more to it and there's more events than that. So tell us a little bit about what goes on with the 4-H clubs and the horses with the kids and all that. Well, um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, we have the shows. Okay. Um, we do Tuesdays, the English show, and Wednesday is the Western show. Okay. And then, of course, then we fill in with doing demonstrations. The 4-H'ers do um, have an opportunity to do demonstrations with their animals, like on Tuesday evening after the uh, English show, uh -huh. we're going to be doing a dressage demonstration. Oh, wow. And can you tell, tell us just a... <sighs> Don't get into a whole big thing, but what is it, dressage? And it doesn't have... You know. Well, it's mainly English, Okay. Um, but it's just different um, maneuvers that a horse can okay. do. It's Perfect. kind of fancy gates, that sort of thing, okay. extensions. Um, it, it's very pretty. Okay. But what, when we do that, we, we the kids add music to oh, that. Oh, okay. So, and if anybody's ever gone to the uh, state fair... Um, you know, they will see that. Okay. Um, and then on Wednesdays, um, after the uh, Western show, then we do raining. Okay. Um, Which, and what is raining? Raining <laughs> is, well, it is um, something that uh, we done in shows, and it's just um, the different, uh, the horses, they do certain circles. Okay. They do sliding stops. Oh, okay. Um, they have to be on certain gates, and, and they have a pattern. Okay. Um, and the 4-H rule books that the kids can use, but sometimes they make up their own patterns. So the kids but, are getting judged on this. Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, but mainly we do it just for show, for, right. for the public, because it's free. Okay. Um, but yeah, they are judged. We have some volunteers that come in and judge, and, and the kids kind of compete against each other, and they enjoy it. Okay. They and really then do. There's other, I, I know we have the schedule up here, but there's some other horse-related activities. So the, we talked about the, the shows, the 4-H mm -hmm. shows and the um, raining. The jousting, um, that's put on by the Maryland uh, State Tournament Association okay. um, of Jousters. Um, and, of course, they've always invited the 4-Hers to compete as oh, well wow. and, and enter that. Um, and then on Friday evening after the jousting, we do Olympic jumping. And oh, that's another okay. demonstration that the children uh, do for the public, and that's held in the evening. The barrel racing, um, that is for qualification for the kids that want to qualify to um, go and do the barrel racing for um, in the rodeo. Okay. But it's only open to girls. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> uh, it is a girl sport. Okay. Um, and then the rodeo um, that comes in on... Uh, Saturday evening, and um, that's and that, something that we've been doing for a couple years. I know that's and a big crowd draw. People are getting and there early to get yeah, seats. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of seat, uh -huh. seats is what it is, but it's it's just a busy... And then I week. know that if people come to the fair and they're walking around and looking at the different horse stalls and stuff, there's two things that go on there. One is the how the kids keep their stalls. Yeah, that's a herdsman. Okay. Um, and if they stay the week, you know, 4 H's they have to, the exhibitors are required to do herdsmen. And uh, we have uh, a set of volunteers that come in and they judge the children's stalls. And they judge it mainly on the care and comfort of the animal. Okay. They'll judge a certain percentage goes to decorations. Um, and then we have the um, other group. The Ken Allen Federation so, yeah. of Arts comes um, in. And then they come in and they judge just solely on the decoration. Okay, yeah, because of the, animal, the first time that I went, I, I was loving that all the barn doors were yes. decorated and I didn't realize that yes. that was a contest. Mm -hmm. um, and that's and pretty it, cool. It is. And it's nice of that group of people to do that for the kids. That I mean, they were just so impressed with the decorating right. of the stalls. And it just kind of dresses the barn up. Right. So basically, you can come out any day. There's something going on with horses. Especially in the evening. Yep, mm -hmm. in the evening. And all these events are free to come and watch. Yep. Um, 
So come out to the fair, yep. August 11th through the 16th, and yep. the fair's website is Queen Anne's CO Ooh, for fair. County mm -hmm. um, Fair dot com. com, and you can get more information. Yep. So okay. thank you so much for thank coming you in. Thank you for having me. Don't forget to come to the Queen Anne's County 4-H Fair in Centerville, August 11th through 16th. It's fun for the whole family.